Yo, my name is Benjamin and in this video tutorial I want to cover the basics of the Framer CMS and I'll be using the starter site as the base project. So let's dive right in. I'll start by adding a sample collection which we can do right here and this will bring us right into the CMS. On the left hand side we can see our collections and add new ones. Over here we could add new items to our collection and in this list below we can see all our collection items. In this case they are blog posts and I can click on any one of them to start editing. So these are all the fields we have enabled per post, title, date, content, etc. You can find and edit the fields over here by clicking edit fields but we'll cover adding new ones a bit later on. You can also use the quick menu by using Command K on macOS or Control K on Windows to quickly navigate around the CMS. For now, let's go back to the canvas and have a look at our block setup that we got by adding the sample. So in this project, we now have this index page listing all our blog posts. Plus we now have these detailed pages where we can preview each individual item in our CMS collection. If we select the title here, you can see that the contents are actually pulled from the CMS. The values are not hard coded here. They are variable values coming from our collection. And clicking on one of these variables allows you to edit the item right from the canvas. For example, I could edit the blog post title right from the canvas without having to jump back into the CMS and I can preview the changes right here. Now another key concept to understand when dealing with the CMS is the collection list. This essentially goes over all the items within our CMS and it allows us to display the fields or variables like in this case, the images, the title and the date. Only the very first item within a collection list you can actually select and edit. As you can see, if I change the radius, it is also applied to the other items. And this also goes for things like sorting the order of a stack or changing the formatting of the dates, like making them a bit longer. Another key concept to understand when working with the CMS is that you can insert items from the CMS onto the canvas. If I go back to the home page, bring up the insert menu and navigate to the CMS content section, I can drag and drop an entire collection list onto the home page. And we could continue customizing it from here. And this is also true when within a detailed page. So if I go back to the blog pages and bring up the insert panel again, you can see that there are a bunch of CMS elements we could add to our page. Next, let's have a look at how we could add new fields to our CMS collection. Like maybe we wanted to add a category per blog post and display that on top of the title in this list. So let's go back into the CMS. I'll bring up the quick menu with command K and I'll select edit fields. And on this little plus, we can add a new field. I'll add a plain text one and I'll name it category. Here we can also assign a default value. I'll pick something generic like article and I'll also place it right below the title. If we now edit any one of our items, we can also customize the category field. So I'll quickly customize a few of the blog posts, adding unique categories to a few of them. And once we're done, let's go back to the canvas and see how we could add these onto our index page. I'll start by selecting the date and duplicating it using command D. Then I'll use the arrow keys to bring it to the top of the stack. And since this is a text layer, let's go to the content property and reassign the content variable from date to category. And that does the trick. 
Now we have this little label that displays the category for each blog post. And we can do the same thing within the detail pages. So I'll go ahead and switch back to the blog pages. And here we can do the same thing. I can duplicate the date and then reassign content to the category variable. And there we go. I would also like to mention that you can use this little drop down here to quickly preview different items from within your collection directly on the canvas. Next, let's take a look at what we can do when we already have an existing design that we would like to connect to our CMS. So I'll bring in this little card design. And what if instead of a list like we have over here, we wanted to have a grid with this card as our block. I'll start by deleting the existing stack within our collection list. And then I'll copy and paste our card onto the collection list. I'll then make it a grid and change the padding and gap. So our card is getting repeated, but not yet with the correct content. As we now know, I need to select the first item within our collection list to start customizing it. So I can go ahead and select the image and reassign the fill. And this now reflects the images from the CMS. I'll do the same for the title and the date where I can reassign the content property to the title and date fields. And I could click on the title variable here to quickly bring up the CMS and customize the blog post title. And there we go. The final thing we have to do is adding the links to the blog posts. So I'll select the card, add a link, and I'll point it to the current item. The slug here really just means the path of the blog post, which is also something you can customize in the CMS. And if we now give this a preview, you can see that our links are working, where now each card points to its respective detail page. Now, before we would publish, we might want to take a look at the page settings. If we navigate to blog pages, we can customize the title, description, and even social images. And here we can reference CMS variables. Like I'm referencing the blog post title in the page title settings here. And this also works with social images. So here I can reference the image field from our CMS. And this makes sure that every time we share a link to any given blog post, the social image will match the banner of our post. So I just published our blog and you can see that the page title is correctly updated and references the blog post title. And here we can see that our social images are also correctly referencing the blog post images. And that's it for this video tutorial. I hope it was helpful. We have a bunch more videos on the CMS coming soon. So thank you so much for watching and catch you in the next one.